What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. <clears throat> it's a little bit windy out here today, so I'm trying to eliminate the uh, wind noise by keeping out of big open areas. Although that's not going to be possible, as you can see up there, there's a big open road. <clears throat> so things might get a little windy. Like me after eating some spicy chili. Anyway, I was going to make this video yesterday, but uh, it was raining all day. We have had uh, a lot of rain here lately, a lot of rain. It seems like the end of rainy season is uh, much more rainy than the than the first half was. Some people were complaining about the lack of rain during the first half. And it was uh, pretty low compared to the last few years, but we're making up for it now. So, uh, everything's good. Plants are growing, flowers in bloom. What more do you want? But anyway, today I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should move to Cambodia. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you to all my supporters. As always, you guys are my rocks. You're my uh, heroes. I really appreciate everything you do. And as always, I very much appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying my weekly uh, exclusive videos. Had a little problem with the last one, but uh, we managed to get through it. That one was all about motorbikes here. Lic licensing requirements, how to get a license, uh, what kind of motorbike you should buy, and where to go buy them. If that's something you're interested in, and you want to get in on my weekly uh, videos, exclusive to my supporters, there are links down below to my PayPal. Buymeacoffee.com slash DDC. And my Patreon. And if you join any of those, you'll be put on the list. And I'll send you that last one. As a way of saying thank you. And then you'll be receiving them every Saturday or Sunday. As always, we have a goal here every month. Our goal this month is $500. Thank you to everybody that's already donated. We're a long way away, but I think we can do it. Shouldn't be a problem. Get your donations in now at any of the addresses. And uh, join the family. So I could go, I could give many more reasons than five why I think you should move to Cambodia. There are many, many reasons. I'm going to limit it to the five that I enjoy. <clears throat> and of course, as always, the things I enjoy might not apply to everyone. And that's okay. Also keep in mind, I'm not an ambassador for Cambodia. I don't think it is for everyone. I've said that several times. This country is not for everyone. There are some people that live here that probably shouldn't live here. <laughs> they seem to really dislike it hate it for some reason and yet here they are and then uh there are some people who just don't have the temperament or the willingness to let go of their western thoughts and ideologies they might find some of the things here too much for them to handle but if cambodia is on your list of places you're thinking about moving about then uh i'm going to give you five reasons why i like it here and why I think you would too. Number one, of course, has to be the cost of living. Oh, and by the way, these are in no particular order. So it's not like one is the best reason and five is the least best reason. I'm just throwing them together. I made a list. I don't think there's anything down there. But anyway, cost of living. Cost of living is uh, really, really inexpensive here. It can be as inexpensive as you want it to be or as expensive as you want it to be. 
<clears throat> everything from a, a place to live to the food fine clothes i mean some things are more expensive western food is more expensive uh larger supermarkets are going to be more expensive and there are a few items that are going to be more expensive than even back in the west because of import fees uh, and things like that but for the most part your general cost of living here is going to be very very cheap compared to back in the west like for what i was paying for an apartment back home if i had that kind of money now i would be living in a virtual <laughs> mansion you know I was paying $600 a month back home. My current apartment is 60 and we're looking to move into a, a $50 place here pretty soon. That's just about the same size. And it's more centrally located. And you can help us do that if you want by donating down below. I know people hate when I do that, when I mention that, but couldn't resist. But anyway, yeah, if you're looking for a place to retire, and I get this question a lot, people will say, I'm about to retire, or I am retired, and I only make, you know, my checks are only $900 a month. Can I live comfortably there as a single person? Uh, the answer is absolutely you can. Even as a couple, you can live quite well on that amount of money. And it shouldn't be an issue. Of course, every time I talk about cost of living, I have to say this just as a caveat. Your choices you make on how you spend your money are going to be yours. So, I mean, if you're a real party hard kind of guy, you want to go out and party every night and do it upright and buy bottles of expensive champagne in some club on Pub Street, your money is not going to go as far. <clears throat> but yeah, 900 bucks. As a retiree, you'll be able to do just fine. Some people have wanted to know how much my monthly expenses are. And I don't say that anymore. In my first two cost of living videos, I mentioned it. And all I had were people responding either, you're a cheapskate and you're spending too little, or you're spending way too much and you should be living a lot cheaper. So... The complainers aside, most people understand that when I say you can live on a certain amount each month, that doesn't necessarily mean you have to, or that you should. So yeah, cost of living here is very, very low, and I think you'll be happy with what you get for it. Which brings me to number two, the food. Believe it or not, uh, Cambodia has a reputation because it is a developing country. And uh, you do see a lot of local Khmer places around. I love Khmer food. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's healthy, it's fresh, it's delicious. And again, back to number one, it's very, very inexpensive. You can get a bowl of really great noodles for 75 cents to $1.50. It's going to fill you up going to taste great but it's not for everybody but luckily uh, in bigger cities like the one I live in here in the CM Reap it's like a foodie paradise you can get food from almost any country in the world here it will be more expensive than the local food but it is available Italian Persian uh, Thai food Chinese food American food, burgers, pizza, french fries, those kind of things. You know, a lot of Indian food places here, if you like that. Uh, I've seen Arabic food, I've seen uh, Greek food, I've seen uh, all kinds of different food places representing different locations and countries like I said those will usually be a bit more expensive because they have to use authentic ingredients that might not be native 
to Cambodia and have to be imported. But if that's your thing, you can find everything from Burger King to places that make amazing burgers by themselves for a little less money. It's all up to you. There's no dearth of food places where you can eat. I prefer all the little food stalls that people just set up along the road. They'll just pull up to a place for a while, set up shop, cook their stuff. And you can get a great meal for about a buck or less. <clears throat> And in my opinion, it's delicious, it's filling, and that's what you want in food. Hello. Number three is the attitude, the laid back attitude of the people here. I think you're really going to like it. Uh, They accept you as you are, as long as you're not breaking the law, causing a ruckus, or being a general butthole. Uh, you know, everybody has quirks. So, uh, some of these quirks might be judged back home. You know, you might be the weird guy, the outsider, uh, the one everybody looks at kind of strange when you're walking along. But here, nobody cares. Nobody's going to give you crap for being the way you are. Nobody's going to... Uh, you know, roll up on you and start teasing you or picking on you. Nobody's going to bully you here just for being a little bit different. I think that is something that kind of comes from the, uh, from Buddhist principles. Can't say for sure, but I think so. But anyway, uh, everybody's generally accepted here. I've seen foreigners here do some things that even by my standards are strange and I'm a pretty strange guy and yet the locals just didn't care there was a guy sitting on a bench by the river one day he had a pair of short short cut off uh, jean shorts <laughs> uh, didn't have on a shirt he had one of those big old 80s style boom boxes playing some music and he had a saxophone and he was playing a saxophone along to the music. It was a weird combination of sights and sounds. But he was just down there enjoying the weather, doing his thing, and everybody walking by didn't give him a second look. I thought that was uh, pretty cool. Like he wasn't hurting nobody. He wasn't hurting anybody. He wasn't uh, harassing anybody. He wasn't causing a disruption. So nobody cared what he was doing. It didn't seem normal. Nobody stopped and stared. Nobody were like, ah, oh, maybe we should call the police. I don't know who this guy is. Why is he sitting there without a shirt? And... Nothing like that. So yeah, it's a very laid back vibe here. Like it's really easy to just go, ah, let's just chill out and relax. <laughs> and enjoy our time. There, we got the cost of living. We have the food. We have the laid back atmosphere. And of course, I have to mention, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the last one, but the people here are very kind. As I said, very accepting, very friendly. They want to get to know you. They will ask you questions. They, questions you might think are a little forward for the first time you meet someone. But that's just the way this culture is. They're interested in knowing where you come from, how do you like it, uh, question that will, you know, they'll ask where you're from, how long you've been in Cambodia, and then they're always going to ask, oh, how do you like Cambodia? And they're always happy when I, when I say, because it's true, oh, I love Cambodia, I love living here, probably never going to leave. They're all smiles and happy because they're proud of their country for what it is, and why shouldn't they be? And a big part of that, I think, has to do with their attitude toward other races and cultures and people. That uh, they just don't care. Like I said, don't, don't do anything legal. Don't cause a ruckus. Don't get drunk and start yelling and fighting. And 
you're not going to have any problems here. It's all part of that laid back Buddhist kind of vibe, I guess you can say, that goes on here. And I've already talked about cost of living, but let's talk about number five, the ease of living. It's very easy to live here, especially as a retiree, because there's not a lot of paperwork, unlike neighboring countries where you might have to have a certain amount of money in your bank account at all times. You might have to report monthly to a local center, and every time you move, you'll have to report to the new center, and you have to provide all this documentation. A lot of people find that very difficult, very intrusive to have to do that I guess you can say in some countries but here as a retiree you get your retirement visa you renew it once a year and that's about it they have an app in place when you move to a new place your landlord will register your passport and everything in that app so there's no need for you to go to a separate place and uh, get all that uh, done yourself it's already registered and you'll be all set Like I said, the, avail the wide availability of restaurants and different foods, including food service deliveries. Uh, the fact that you don't need a credit check for anything here. <laughs> Nobody's going to ask to see your, uh, your credit score if you need an apartment, opening a bank account, uh, any of that, buying a vehicle, any of that stuff. They don't, they don't care about that. Their philosophy is if you got the money to pay for this, you, you can have it. Going, let's say you're going to rent a $200 apartment. No application. They're going to show you the apartment. If you got the money, you'll probably move in that day or the next day. Just that easy. Transportation is also easy. Um, I prefer to walk. That's my preferred mode of transportation, but you can buy a motorbike if you want. And if you don't want to do either of the, those things, there are available tuk-tuks and pass apps and uh, other forms of transportation. Sometimes motorbikes, just guys on motorbikes trying to make a buck. <laughs> they will offer you a ride anywhere you got to go really, really inexpensively. Like where I am right now, to get to Luke's house, would probably only cost me about a dollar, maybe a dollar twenty-five, depending on the driver. And that's all the way across the other side of town. So, so yeah, the ease of living here, along with the cost of living here, the laid-back attitude of the people and the people themselves. And, of course, the delicious and filling food are all reasons, at least five. Like I said, I could go on, but I won't. But those are five reasons why, if you're thinking of Cambodia as a retirement destination, why you should come here. Or at least consider coming here first as a tourist when the borders open up again. Getting a feel for it and then making your decision. Yeah, everybody knows I love Cambodia. I love living here. Love Siem Reap. And, uh, you know, I could go on about the some of the attractions here when the country is wide open, but I'll save that for when it is actually open again. But one of them has to be all these awesome temples that are everywhere. That you can just walk to, like we're about to walk through Wat Palanka get back home and uh, you see all the etchings and carvings and the artwork but like I said I'll do that video once the country opens back up for people coming over here that want to know what kind of things you can do right now I can mention some but most of those things are closed because of the pandemic so really wouldn't uh, really wouldn't help you right now she's pointing at something might be a bug or an insect 
Oh, there we go. Look at that turn. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. Nice looking butterfly. And there it goes, it flew away. Oops. And there's some wasps. Wasps are, oh, wait a minute, is that a wasp? Yeah. Well, yeah. I think it is. Huh. There are a lot of wasps here, but they don't seem to be too aggressive like the ones back, back home. There's a particular plant called the coxcomb plant, silver coxcomb plant. They seem to be pollinated only by wasps, even though I know that plant can uh, be pollinated by other insects. Every time I see a bunch of them, wherever the only thing I see on them are tons and tons of wasps. kind of weird but fascinating to watch anyway that'll do it for this one five reasons why you should move to Cambodia like I said my opinion your might be different that's okay be sure to check out all my links down below if you want to donate and help support what we do links for my paypal buymeacoffee.com slash ddc and my patreon are down below if it's your first time by the way I'll send you a copy of my book live in Cambodia a guide for living in the kingdom of wonder and a thank you email and of course you receive all of my exclusive stuff videos updates books and more as a way for me to say thank you also down below are links to other channels vlogging in cambodia very very good channels full of incredible information all yours for the taking so be sure to check those out and all my social media is down below. There's some other stuff down there too. Just feel free to click away. All right. That'll do it for this one. Thank you guys for joining me. As always, thank you for liking, subscribing if you haven't, and sharing the video across your social medias. And to my supporters, again, I say thank you. I love you guys. And I appreciate you. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you.